Welcome back, folks. As you guys know, I made it on Qualifier 1 yesterday when we live streamed it. So because I'm not going to be able to live stream Qualifier 2, I'll put a guide out there today and right now for you guys to help you out for Qualifier 2. And tomorrow I will have a guide out as well. I prefer the live streams because you guys can be there and see actually how I do them uh, 100%. So there's no guessing. That's why I do them so you guys can watch them later as well too. Um, but for Qualifier 2, these are the results from last year. We did very well in this last year. Had a lot of the group make it, obviously. Um, if you guys remember, uh, because I made it on Qualifier 1 last year as well, I I did practices here, in my and I couldn't do the Qualifier, but my practices were, uh, I had one bag of 816.5, if I remember correctly, uh, from the video I did about this last year. And uh, so my scores were obviously very good, and we're going to talk about it this year. Not a ton has changed, but there is a little bit of changes to this year. Uh, but last year, you can see what the scores were to kind of get an idea. Now, these aren't going to be apples to apples across platforms, but you can still use what I'm going to tell you today on all platforms, including... Uh, we had the biggest fish as well. Shock had a great fish. And in practice, I actually had uh, last year as well is a 102. They do get oversized here. That's why I bring that up, guys. And you're going to want to spot. So over here, I am going to come back and show you guys here the recipe here for these. Oh, let's go over to them right here. And I'll, some of you guys have said the Super Viger works for catfish. I actually don't use it for beluga. I use it for everything else in the game uh, other than a year at catfish and beluga. But anyway, here is the catfish mix that we used last year that's still working this year. Just keep in mind, oversized catfishing for qualified two is going to be really hit or miss. So I had an amazing run of 816 pounds over 370 kilograms. That doesn't mean every run I do is going to be like that. I could... You know, I could have some bad luck uh, and have, you know, 500 pounds, especially these oversized catfish. Not so much on other stuff in general, but these oversized catfish are real hit and miss. But this is the recipe here, guys. And if you want, you can pause that and put that in. And I'm going to be clear here because uh, a lot of people are going to ask in the comments. They still probably will, even though I'm talking about this. If you go over to your settings... Right here, you can take and switch your measurement over temporarily, put the recipe in, uh, in, in Imperial, and then switch it to metric, and that way you know what it is in metric. Also, because of an update we've had, sometimes the recipes don't all fit. If you, the, you can't get the recipe to completely fit, just take out a tiny bit of oil cake, and it will work very similar. Also, this is the Viagra recipe, Super Viagra. This is the one that is relatively new. And uh, we've won the Carp Tournament with it and Christmas Giant. So every tournament we've had to spot for and we've used the recipe, we've won. We've actually got first place. And a lot of times we got first, second, or third. Um, and this recipe is working really great. And again, same thing on this recipe. If you can't quite fit it in, uh, take just a tiny bit of oil cake or pee out till it works for you. Uh, there was an update for you guys that don't know that seemed to have changed this. I have no problems putting this in, but if I were to make it new again now after the update, sometimes it gives me a little bit of issue. Um, so the what I am using here at Sandra Bagersy is a 6-0 to start the comp. And as you go in this tournament, in this qualifier, you're going to want to work your sizes down. So last year and this year, some really big uniques came off of two O's late in the tournament. So don't hesitate to drop your hook size down if it's slow for you. Um, so frogs and dead labari, you can use a lot of stuff that works for catfish normally. The only issue is a lot of it, about half of the stuff you would normally use, also gets carp. And because you're spotting, carp gets super attracted. Keep that in mind so you want to stay away from that type of stuff. Uh, like duck muscle meat, which normally works really well here for catfish. But because you're spotting, it'll bring in the carp quite a bit as well. 
Um, but anyway, that is what you're going to use. And remember to drop your hook sizes as you go. Now, another thing that we talked about last year as well, if you guys remember, uh, I had it in the pinned comments, spod from your boat. You can use your boat in this tournament like we did last year. So for this spot, for example, I'm going to go take you out. So once you make that recipe and you put it in your spod, this is my spod setup if you guys want to use it. Uh, what you'll do is once you equip it to that, uh, you go out here. You go right next to your mark, you'll spot, and then you'll go back to shore. It'll save you a lot of time. If you don't, you'll be spotting for 10, 12 minutes. If you come real short, you'll be like 6 to 8 minutes or something like that. And for the marks here, this is we'll go to spot 1. And you're going to take your boat to each one of them. Uh, but it is uh, 624, negative 6 or 567 you can pause these i'm going to try to keep the video short here guys for you um and also if you want you can spot them out this is kind of something that can be a little tough and it's real risky but you can don't have to spot all the way out you can do it closer to shore if you want uh you will get uniques but the quality of them don't seem to be as good uh that's spot one spot two is right here where we're at right now currently uh, a 10 or a 806 uh, negative 1171 and then spot three is over here I will let you just uh, go ahead and pause if you need to for the marks and these get very big so last year uh, my friend Shaq got the biggest one with a 97 in the tournament and they do get even bigger guys I do believe the biggest one I've caught it here is 102 um, and they do get quite oversized because that is a large one. I believe they're like 78, 80 or something normally. But anyway, here is a spot for this is an alternate spot. If you're really catching them fast, then you can use this spot. Otherwise, I would just use the spot the three spot rotation. Uh, a grab a trophy and unique at each spot. Now, if this if you're sitting there for 15 minutes and you don't get your unique move like that's how long the spot is going to last so you're going to want to bail after that guys also if at the very end here one other thing i want to mention really quick if you are spotting the full mix in each spot like i would recommend uh there it does make the no, the spot respawn timers not effective so what do i mean by that i mean if you spawn in this spot right here you catch a unique and you just like for some other reason you go to another spot for a couple minutes you can respot that spot and get another unique a lot of times it's slow but you can get one right away and because of the spotting it does make the uh it does break the respawn timers guys just so you know that is something that's well known in carp fishing but um, it does apply for all oversized fishing guys anyway you guys have a good one we'll see you next time have a good one folks